In fact, colostrum is rich in nutrients and antibodies, which ward off infections. And Projanmo workers recommend breastfeeding within one hour. With an understanding uh, of what some of those traditional practices are, you can begin to devise ways of intervening, ways of coming alongside the family and helping them to negotiate some of those, those uh, threats that they feel. Back to Zihan and the sick baby. Her efforts saved the infant's life. So when she returned for a checkup, the grateful mother asked Zihan to name the child. I laughed and told her, how can I name the baby? But she insisted. So I named her Shazni. Now the mother invites me over all the time. I have that kind of relationship with them, like between souls. Shazni is now a healthy three-month-old baby. Zihan was able to save Shazni's life because of basic health practices introduced by the Projanmo Project. Projanmo was co-funded by a partnership of aid organizations and was directed by leading newborn health researchers. These partners worked together with the communities to design, implement, and measure the effectiveness of the project. The most important success of the three-year project was the 34% reduction in newborn mortality in the project area in Silet through home-based newborn care. These inexpensive but life-saving services were provided by local village women during home visits. And these women, who lived in the communities where they were serving, were uniquely qualified to be agents of change. Projonmo used uh, community health workers uh, to improve care during pregnancy, delivery, and postpartum period. Dr. Abdul Abaki of Johns Hopkins University headed the Projanmo study group and wrote the award-winning Lancet article about the findings and their potential impact on newborn survival around the world. And we have demonstrated that with that simple means, you can reduce mortality by more than one third. And so you have really community health workers in one form or other in most countries. And if we can implement the Projanmo model globally, it has the potential to reduce neonatal mortality by more than a million every year. Gary Darmstadt was another key member of the study group. He says the project's goal from the start was to do more than just dispense information. It went beyond that and asked the question, what would happen if a community health worker was trained not only to deliver health messages, but if they were also trained kind of like a doctor to identify newborns that were sick and then to encourage the family to take that baby to the health center for treatment. But then it went even one more step and it said, well, what if the family won't go? If that happened, then the community health worker would offer treatment right there in the home. The health workers were trained in six-week courses. The skill building in these courses taught them how to provide newborn care through home visits. During the first visit before birth, the worker counseled the mother on pregnancy danger signs and birth preparedness. Through a process of developing trust with the community and negotiating with them, they, they, they did uh, engage in this process so that they would begin to think about well when the baby's born what do we need to have there you know could we manage to get to a health facility and if we were to do that where would we go what, how much money would we need the Projanmo project made every effort to involve husbands and fathers too Local leaders held regular meetings to communicate with family decision makers about the need to set money aside for birth, newborn care, and emergency transportation needs. It used to be that our local dyes attended births, but they didn't have a lot of knowledge. 
Now Projanmo women go door to door to advise our wives on how to care for newborns. We're very happy now and we'll do anything to help the project. These men's groups were one example of the community's embrace of new ideas and change over a remarkably short period of time.